I've seen girls on Instagram wearing this, like the Fashion Nova ones and they're like $30 and I'm like, I don't want to spend $30 on a dress. So this is a really good alternative. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a haul with Rose Gal and they were nice enough to send over a couple different items and I hope you guys like them. I do have quite a few cool things here. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about is this amazing dress. It's an off the shoulder black dress that is super trendy right now and it has buttons in the front. I got this one in a size, I think this is a size 14. It is a little too big. I thought I gained the dress size i guess i didn't but i'll end up having this fixed um and i think it looks really good i love how it looks all the the material seems really sturdy like it doesn't feel like it's cheap at all even though it's like relatively inexpensive i think this was maybe 15 dollars and it is a little short but it's because i'm tall so that's probably the only reason why it's short on me it is super curvy girl friendly. It stretches out quite a bit. So if you do have extra curves, this will fit really nicely on you. I can't wait to wear it out. I just don't really know what to wear it with yet. I don't think I have any shoes that I can wear it with yet, but I just think it's really cute. And it is absolutely my favorite out of the dresses that I got. I ended up getting three dresses, a sweater and some pants from them. Also a uh, body, what is it called? Um, I also got, I forgot what they're called like those body cage bralettes, like those, I've made one before, cage bra. I also got a cage bra, but we'll talk about that at the end because it's a whole mess. But yeah, I really like this dress. I love the buttons in the front too. Next thing I have here is this really pretty star dress. And the funny thing about this one, it actually says it's from Zaffle, which is a little weird, but I got it from Rose Gal, like it was on the Rose Gal website. So I don't know if those are all the same website and they just kind of leech off each other or how that works, but yeah. I got this one in a size 14 and it's really pretty, also off the shoulder. I mean, you can wear it up a little bit if you want to, but it is off the shoulder. I love how there's so many stars on it because I'm super into galaxies and star themed stuff. So I thought this was really cute. The material is not as good as the last dress that I got. This feels like, I don't really know what this is. I'm looking for a tag in it to say what it's made out of. It's made out of 100% polyester. So that's kind of what it is. And then it's also pretty see-through. So I would have to be really careful with what underwear I wear under it. So, I mean, overall, I think it's really cute, but I would have to be really careful or wear like some leggings under it or something. But it is really cute. Next thing I have here is another nice dress. It is from, this one I got in a size 3XL. And with websites like this, you have to be really careful with the sizing because most of the clothing comes from overseas and the sizing can be a little off. So you have to make sure that you check with everything that you buy, the sizing chart. And a 3XL, I believe, is equivalent to a size 14. So um, another dress, it's a little bit too big for me, but I can always, luckily I know how to sew, so I'll be able to sew it back and uh, make it a little bit smaller. But I thought this was really cute. It gives me like Wednesday Adam vibes, and when I wear it, I'll feel really gothy and witchy, which is really, really nice. This one feels like it's made pretty sturdy. I just like it a lot. It flares out at the bottom, which I like a lot too. I'll end up wearing like, I'll probably end up wearing this with like boots or something, but I'm a big fan. The next thing I have here are some leggings. And these are in a size L, size large. And it was supposed to be like a 12, I think. So these fit pretty good. Um, only bad thing about these is you can see it in the video when I try it on too. Like you can legit see my underwear. like. There's no height in it. I would have to wear a long shirt with this. Otherwise, I, like, I'm not, I can't wear these with like a crop top or anything. I really have to be careful with the underwear that I choose to wear with this. But other than that, I think it's really cute. And the last thing that I have here is a sweatshirt and it says, I dig you, which is a little funny because on the, oh, my necklace is falling. 
on the um, on the website it didn't have any writing on the front so I don't know how I ended up with a sweater with writing on it I thought it would just have these colors on the side but I don't know and the size that I got for this one I believe is a large and it's supposed to be just like a, a crop sweater um, but yeah, from the preview photo that I had, I don't I don't remember seeing something. I don't rem I don't remember seeing writing on it from the preview photo that I saw online. So I don't know what that's about, but I still like it. I still dig it. So that's fine. And the last thing that I have here is a cage bralette that I have yet to figure out because I don't know how I'm supposed to put this on. And from the photo, it looks so simple, but then like. I've, I've made these before, so I, I thought I would figure out how to put it on, but I honestly still haven't, and it's just kind of been sitting there on my desk. I wish I knew how to put it on, because on the photo it looks so cute, but I have no idea. Um, honestly though, I could probably take this apart and make one for myself, because I, I know how to make these. I've made them before. As you guys know, if you checked out my um, Pastel Goth Bliss video, then yeah, it's made from the same material. This is literally elastic that you can find from this is literally elastic that you can find from Joann's and make yourself, so. Yeah, I think they even hot glued it, like I did. Overall though, I really like that off the shoulder black dress that I got, the all black one. Oh my God, that is so cute. I'm gonna be wearing that constantly, um, especially in the winter time, because in Florida, the winter is literally like 70 degrees, which is fine with me. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of the clothes that I got. Let me know what your favorite is because I, I already know the off the shoulder one is my fave and I probably will shop with them again soon. I just really like that off the shoulder black dress and it was so cheap. I've seen girls on Instagram wearing this, like the Fashion Nova ones and they're like $30 and I'm like, I don't want to spend $30 on a dress. So this is a really good alternative if you're looking for something that's similar to that style where it's off the shoulder. So good job for them and it's really good quality too. So I'm, I'm very surprised. Have you guys ever shopped at Rose Gal? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.